first let's check the connection from redis so i'll write redis hyphen cli and i've done ping and it has responded as a pong so as you can see the connection has been set up and through key start we have found all the keys now here i'm going to start a spring starter project i will name this as spring redis hyphen demo and this will be a kind of demo project for redis after this i'll go to the next and select dev tools load things at runtime spring web for apis and actuator and reactive redis i'll click on finish and provide one more dependency of this jdis jdis is used for setting connection factory so in this way we have started our spring boot application our basic requirement of this pom so second thing is to provide the host and port of the redis so host is our local host only for the redis and port of the redis is 6079 the default port in which we have set our application as you can see 6079 is here third thing is that let's create different port for this spring boot project let it be 8084 instead of 8080 in which our project will start we will be creating three things model class to set in the redis so for that first start with model class only i'll create a person object in this person object i'll provide for simplicity let's go for string name and string id and i will create the two string method for this so right click on it and go to the source and generate two string so i'll click on this and using the fields i'll create two string method again let's go and create gets and setters so again i'll click on gets and setters select two fields and generate so our object is ready this object will be used to set in the redis object second thing let's create the configuration so for that i will create a package and inside this package i'll simply provide redis config and the package will be com.sumit.playjava.config So this is a kind of configuration. So I'll annotate with configuration, and beans will be provided through this Redis config. So first pin will be the JDS connection factory, in which JDS connection will be provided, and this JDS connection will be used in the Redis template, the exact template through which Redis will be making connection. So this JDS connection factory get JDS get connection factory as you can say, and I will create JDS connection factory object here. So for simplicity, let it. write in two to three lines so i have provided this jdis connection factory and in this connection factory if i want i can change few parameters like client name provider etc but as of now for the simplicity purpose let's just return this connection factory only so after this this jdis connection factory is done now the exact thing that redis template i am going to provide through the bean only so public redis template and this redis template will ask for key and value so key will be a type of string let's assume we are providing string only and value will be the object of this person simply i am pasting here as a person and simply i will write redis template and through this our redis object template will be returned so redis template again the same thing string and value as a person and i will create this redis template as new redis template let me remove this key value as of now and through quotes i am closing this now in this redis template i will make the connection through this jdis connection factory in the first bin so i will write set connection factory and get connection factory through this jdis connection so this giving warning let's add key value in the argument now everything is sorted for our redis connection now i am going to write some java doc that this file is to get beans of redis and as you can see is a code ready connect configuration now let's go and create our main controller so i'll write the name as main controller only as of now and let's change the package to com.sumit.playjava.controller to make it segregated and easy to understand and this is a controller so first thing is to provide it as a rest controller and apis will be provided second thing is to provide the base mapping or base url through request mapping so these two things are done now which object will be using we will be using the template for redis for that hash operations are required so hash operation is the main operation through which redis will be operating so it will contain three thing the parent key and the key and value of the rest template or uh, redis template 
so this ready template will have string and person as object so that only i have provided here and this will be mapped to the resource of that ready template which we have provided so i'll use the same name that is ready template and it will automatically go and search this redis template and this will be used for setting and getting data from redis so first thing is to get the data for getting data let's provide key here in the get mapping and i'll provide the object of person through this key from redis so i'm returning person and type the method name as get person in this i'll be using the mapping through path variable of this key and i will provide that this key is a type of string and it is coming from the value of key through path variable i will first try to log some data as of now i am not using logger i am simply doing sys out so system dot out dot print ln going to get person with id and id will be the key which is coming from the request and i will use hash operations here to get the data from that particular key so simply first thing is the main key so let's keep the main key as person only as a type string and second thing is the key for which the exact object has been mapped and simply i will return it from here so as you can see get mapping is almost done now for getting we need to set data also so for that to set data as you can see these are the mappings for set data we will just provide a, another method and it will be a type of post because we will be posting person object and it will be coming to this method and it will be set to the redis so i will simply write set person as a method url so it will be a type of application json so that's why i am writing consumes application json so application json form will be coming and it will be set to the redis so and after setting let's return success for that only i have written string here set person is the method name in which the object which will be coming through this request mapping or request body will be directly set to that cache so through request body we will be getting a person and let's type here so that in logger also that we are going to set value of person in redis and simply i use has a hash operation only and it will be used to set data for setting data we will simply write put and three things first is the parent key which we are using as person only as we have seen in line number 25 of get mapping second thing is the key for which this person will be mapped for that let's take the key as the person id which will be coming from the person object only and last is the person only itself is a object after that let's return success so for that type success here or let's we can change this success also to response entity so for that it will be it is better to go with response entity so i am returning success through response entity and simply i will instead of that string i will create new response entity and provide the http status here so response entity helps in providing the status also if any manipulation is required through and also data in that so i'll write success here i think success will come in the start let me change it so the argument yeah so now our post mapping is also done now this will be a value here so everything is sorted as of now so as you can see we have created our post and get and let me provide some java java doc here that is the main controller to set person in redis and this is quite useful to provide java doc so that anyone can understand the company or project which you are creating so get value from redis and return type is a person only third thing is to set data in the redis so for that also let's provide that we are going to set value in redis so it will be a return type of response entity so let me copy this response entity and paste it in the return type so it will be easily understandable so now everything is sorted and everything is well written now let's start and see how this main controller will act 
through this person object will be set and it will be coming in the redis so let's run as spring boot application and after this i will simply check whether the connection has been made the connection is working fine and it has started on the port which we have assigned it as 8084 now everything is fine as you can see this we will be going through this set person method and we will be setting a person object through this post mapping or you can say post api so this is post api i will go with the application type json which we have already said that this will be a type of application json and this json file will be a type of person so we need to see what values are inside the person object so for person exactly we are using name and id so simply i'll provide id and second thing i will provide as a name so let's id be p123 and name be as of now let's keep my name only submit and i will click on send it is saying serialization explain because we have not serialized the person object we need to implement the serialization there so go to the person and just implement serialization whatever object we are going to use in this redis we need to serialize that so i have added the serial version id so everything is fine now and since we have used dev tools so we need not reload because automatically it will start now as you can see after send it has given me success so if i want to see i want to see whether the object has been provided in it so as you can see this person key is coming it means straight away that our object has been set now i want to get this person object for getting a person object simply i will copy the url till the base url post that i need to provide the key here as you can see in the main controller for this key, get api key we need to provide key of that particular object is p123 key we have used is id only and click on send so we have got our object from the redis as you can see going to set value person in redis and second thing going to get person with id p123 so this is going to get person id now let's set few more parameters one two three instead of one two three let's one 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 and second the name be john so as you can see if i change it here nothing will come because i have not set it yet now let's click and set this value i click on send and if i click now it has been set now and now the value will come so as you can see john p11 is coming all things are coming from redis only so let's give another name as punit and click on send and again call p123 122 and click on send punit so three things are coming now i want to get all the values through one go so our hash operation provides that also so instead of getting through key i'll simply get all the objects so i'll just use the hyphen only and try to get all the objects of that particular person so let me remove this part get all persons with id i'm going to remove and now this is going to get the person so i'm simply call the other method the other method is to get all the values and for entries we are just need to call all the values inside the main key and it will automatically give me that so i will simply change the return type of this get mapping to map and let me provide the braces which is missing here and simply our project has started since we have used dev tools we don't need to bother about restarting and let me copy till the base url because this is the url for our third api in which we are going to get everything in one go see we have got everything inside the main key of person and let me provide few more data here one two five five let it be amit click on send one more data will be coming and let's first check whether this is coming or not one five five it is coming and click on send as you can see all the four datas are coming so in this way we can do operations through our redis and we can easily get data 
Now the things comes to mind, what is the use of Redis? So you can do the use of Redis through cache implementation easily. That if anything is coming from the Redis only, we don't need to hit the database because it will slow down our application. This can be done like this here. If at line number 37, if I'm going to get a person, if I'm not able to find that person in the Redis, so it will be an empty object. So through object tutorials, I'm simply checking whether it's empty or not. If it is empty, then I'm going to fetch the data from database. So I'm writing fetch from TV as not in Redis. And once I have fetched the data from the Redis, then I will require to set in Redis also. So here, just after fetching, just need to set in the Redis cache so that from next time when it will be called, it will be directly coming from the Redis cache only instead of going to DB. So in this way, you can apply a check of null pointer. And if it's coming as null or empty object, then you can directly go to a DB and pull out and again set it in the database and through database to cache. And from next time, it will be directly called from the cache. So in this way, you can see most of the operations can be done and Redis is easy to configure. So we have seen already seen that how we can install in our system this Redis and how we can easily use that Redis cache in our application and it is quite fast and it comes from the initial layer also. So now let's change the sysout to value found is P and if any value is not found, it will not be coming. So as you can see, I'm going to get value with 155 and it is coming. So we are not going to the database part, but if any value is not coming, so let a random number be 177, as you can see, 177 is not here. And if I click on set, send, then you can see nothing is coming. And what it will say, it will say that I'm going to get person with ID P11, value found is null because it is not found here and fetch from DB is not found in Redis. So as you can assume, it will it is going here to get it from database. First, getting it from data from database, you can set it in the cache and simply return so that it will be easy to use from next time and it will be directly coming from the cache only. So we have seen the installation, we have seen the configuration and how we can proceed with the Spring Boot application and simply use the Redis as a cache. So thank you all for watching this video.